Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to be talking about Bad Milo. I've watched this film, it's gotta be like at least five years ago, and then while scrolling through TV, which is an app I find a lot of movies and TV shows on, I found it again and could not resist but to watch it. The movie centralizes around our main character, who is married, his wife really, really wants a baby. He kind of seems like he's on the fence. He has a job, some kind of brokerage maybe, I don't remember, but his boss is a huge asshole and kind of just wants to use him as a scapegoat and then kind of peer pressures him into taking a position where he would be laying people off, like a lot of people off with maybe not the best severance package, so you know that he feels bad, but his boss is kind of like, well, you're the good guy, so people maybe won't come back in and shoot us up. Great logic. <laughs> Our main character also has a lot of digestive issues, which he seems to have had since a young age, and they're kind of just getting worse. He's getting a whole bunch of testing done, finally has an ultrasound done, where they have, I think, they diagnosed him as polyps and his advice from the ultrasound tech and the doctor are you gotta calm down you can't be this stressed out this is what's making you sick so we all know that feeling when you're like a really anxious person in general or you have a very stressful job when someone tells you just to calm down like that oh it's that easy thank you so much so his anxiety is just getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, he ends up spending an entire night in the bathroom where we find out that he has, I think it's kind of like an ass gremlin, which is the manifestation of all of his anxiety and worry and anger just goes out, literally out of him and starts to kill people and eat people that he's mad at. He ends up seeing a, I don't know if he's supposed to be a psychologist, but he's very new age, very crystals and healing and believes in, you know, maybe not the things that the typical psychologist would, who reads from a text saying, no, this is a real thing. This is something that happens and this is what you have but you can't kill it because it would essentially lobotomize you because it is a part of you. Horrific. It, he's really cute too, kind of in a gross way. He's named Milo. Bad Milo, I it's taken me from the first time since I watched it to actually think about the title. Bad Milo is BM. You can do the rest. So pretty much the movie is our main character trying to deal with all of his anxieties, all of his stressors, while trying to keep Milo in and not so bitey and homicidal, while trying to make things work with his wife. Try to figure out, maybe if I reconcile things with my dad, I won't have this issue anymore. I won't have to contain this monster. And also dealing with his dickhead of a boss and the things he's trying to pull at work. I'll leave it there as this is spoiler free. What did I like? As I said, I really liked the creature design of Milo. I thought he was kind of endearing at some points and kind of actually creepy at some points. They do definitely address the fact that like Milo is a lot larger than you would think would um, go back into certain parts of your body where the psychologist says, well, if you think about, you know, women and birth, it's really not that big of a deal, which I laughed at. That was funny. I feel like the gore was really good. They didn't, it wasn't like an overly gory movie, but some of the, the aftermath scenes, particularly the one with um, our main character's partner that he shares it's, it's supposed to be a cubicle, but it's a bathroom, so he's calling him a QB anyways, but it's, it's really a bathroom. That was done really well. I feel like the, um, the actors that were chosen for this movie were great, so good, so amazing. I feel like 
you know, they just held the pacing of the movie so well and played off each other so well. So good. So good. Awesome casting. Um, my dislikes. I mean, there were parts that were really disgusting, not like gore disgusting, but like poop disgusting that kind of like make your stomach turn a little bit. Like I can handle all the blood in the world, but like poop's another story. Just no thank you. Um, I don't know. I mean, I really enjoyed this movie. I would give it like probably four out of five. It's a perfect balance of a body horror and comedy. And I felt like at no point was I bored in the movie. There's just so many different aspects that I did enjoy. I enjoyed the little twist that's kind of at the end, sort of an origins nod. Um, it was just, it's, it's a really fun time. I know this used to be available on Netflix. I don't think it is anymore. It might just be on Tubi, which is a free streaming app. You can watch movies and TV shows. I use it through my Amazon Fire Stick. Not sponsored, but maybe that's something that should be considered because I plug you guys a lot. Anyways, have you seen this movie? What were your thoughts? What Do you sometimes feel like you have a bad Milo as well. It's gross. Sorry, guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Hit the like button if you did like the video. And hit the bell notification to be updated every time I post or live stream. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo and reviews with the groom are also available via podcast via the farsighted network on itunes i also have my own channel now thanks guys and uh yeah i think that about wraps it up and go check this movie out you won't be disappointed bye guys